Hi, I'm John Buckheit. I'm back with Fire Engineering for another Training Minutes. If you've been following our series, we've been getting into uh, how to get past chain link fences. And uh, today we're going to talk about how to manipulate the fabric of the fence in order to get through the fence or, or obtain your objective. This is an example of a fence that you really wouldn't want a ladder this fence. The top rail is disconnected. The line post is out of the ground. But it is poorly tensioned. There's quite a bit of slack in this fence. It's going to allow us to manipulate it. It has no bottom rail. If it had a bottom rail, we could come in and we could cut that easily with hand pliers and then manipulate the fence and get underway. You got to do your size up, as we said earlier. Some fences are mechanically tensioned. They're going to be real, real tight. The other extreme, construction sites, temporary fencing put up, they're going to have no tension at all. Um, we're going to show you three different ways that you can manipulate this fabric and, and get your job underway. Timmy's going to approach this fence. He's done his size up. He sees that the fabric is not really that well tensioned and his job is he needs to get that supply line through. He's going to take out his hose strap, pretty common tool in the fire service. He's going to pass the loop of that hose strap through the bottom of one of the links. Then he's going to pass the hook of the hose strap through that loop. He's then going to pull as hard as he can upward and that fence, because it's poorly tensioned and has no bottom rail, is going to flex out. He's going to then secure it by passing that hook through one of the links. It's going to stay open for him. And now he has a good portal to pass that supply line through and get his job done and getting water back to that fire. Here we have Tim's going to use an alternate method to accomplish the same task of manipulating that fabric he saw, he saw there's no bottom bar, there's no bottom uh, wire. If there was, he could come in and clip it with his uh, hand pliers. He's taking uh, regular cordage, utility cordage that a firefighter might t have on him. In this instance, he has it uh, dialed up as a, as a daisy chain, and he's going to un un loosen that chain. He's going to take his end clip, clip it to the bottom of that fence, and then he's going to use a knot known as a uh, shipper's knot or trucker's knot, which is going to give him a little mechanical advantage and allow him to uh, lift that fence fabric up and then secure it in the raised position to accomplish his objective. His objective on this particular evolution is he has a uh, backboard. He's going to help his partner get back in there. They have a uh, patient that they want to access and then eventually transport out. He's secured the bottom of his cord. He's going up high. He's going to come down. He's passed his utility cord over that top rail. That's going to give him some nice support. He now takes the end of his cord. He's going to pass it through that loop that he made with that overhand knot. And then he's going to haul upwards. And it's going to give him a two to one mechanical advantage. He's going to be able to lift that gate up nice and high. He'll pinch that off. Pinch what he's got, put a quick overhand knot on that, and he's now manipulated that fabric. He's going to be able to get in there, slide his backboard through, access that patient, and eventually get that patient out to the ambulance. Now we're going to show you how you can uh, actually unweave uh, the, the fence fabric to get through, make a hole for your operation. You have to realize this fence, it, it comes in 50 foot rolls. So if they want to make up a, a length greater than 50 feet or an odd dimension, they just weave in a strand, bend down the top or not, and boom, you have a longer length of fence. We can use that same process to unwind the fence and get in. All you need to do is come in, take a, a pretty good pair of pliers with a cutting edge, or bolt cutter if you have a special, you know, if you have a, anticipate that you're going to deal with this type of stuff a lot, come in, Select a strand, cut it with your pliers, trace it with your finger because it's hard to keep track of which strand you've cut. Get down to the bottom or as far as you want to go, cut it, and then you can actually unweave the strand. It's going to work really well at construction sites and temporary fencing sites which really have almost no tension in them. It's going to work less well and less well uh, the thicker the gauge of the metal, the tighter the weave of the fabric, or the greater the tension on the fence. Timmy's going to come in now, show you a simple method that one or two guys could use to create a little more slack in here and make it uh, easier to uh, unwind this fence.
Timmy secured one end of his utility cord to a link in the fabric. He went horizontally across the area that he wants to cut. He's going to use that shipper's knot or trucker's knot that we spoke about. He's going to use that. Timmy's going to pull tight using that shipper's knot. He's going to secure what he's gained. He's now created some slack in that fence, which is going to help him unweave that strand. He's going to select one strand. He's going to cut it as high as he needs to. He's then going to trace it down physically with his finger so he doesn't lose it. He's then going to mark it with his hand, pick up his pliers, make a cut, and then he can begin to unweave that using his pliers, or if it's really loose, his hand, go around and around, and he'll be able to take that fence apart. In this training minutes, we looked at uh, how you can manipulate the fabric of these fences. Uh, specifically, if it's a poorly tensioned fence, it's going to be a quick way to get hose lines through, access patients, or get in and make your examination and do your fire operation. Thanks for watching. I'm John Buckheit. It's been another training minute.